Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to back up and restore your important data and programs in Linux Ubuntu. I'll be using a program called Deja Dupe. It's important to back up your data and programs regularly, so if something does happen you'll be able to recover from it quickly. It's also important to save your backups to something other than the drive that you have your operating system installed on, such as an external hard drive or a flash drive. And I'm going to begin by going to the software center. And in the search box, I'm going to type Deja, D-E-J-A. And right at the top of the list, I'm going to highlight Deja Dupe. And then to the right of the page, I'm going to click Install. And it will begin to install. And it's finished installing, so I'm going to close the software center. And next, I'm going to go to Dash Home. And here's Deja Dupe here under Recent App. If yours isn't showing this, go to the search box and type the DEJA, and Deja Dupe will come up. And I'm going to take it and drag it onto the launcher to lock it to the launcher. And then I'm going to close Dash Home. And now I'm going to open Deja Dupe. And it opens to the Overview tab. This is where you can configure your backups to run automatically. Right now, my automatic backups are turned on. My backup location is my flash drive. The folders I'm backing up is my home folder. The folders I'm ignoring is the trash folder. I haven't ran a backup, so my most recent backup is none, and the next automatic backup is set for today. And down below it says old backups will be kept until the backup location is low on space. There's also a help option. Under the storage tab, this is where you select where to store your backups. I have my flash drive selected. You can also designate a folder for your backups. I'm going to go to Folder. This is where you select which folders to backup. In the left pane, the home folder is what I'm backing up. In the right pane, the trash folder is what's being ignored during the backup. If I wanted to add more to this, I could click the Add button and say I also want to back up the desktop. And I'd click Open. And here it is here. Now I'm going to remove it by highlighting it and clicking the minus button. You can also do the same on the ignore side. You could add something or highlight it and remove it. Next I'm going to go to schedule. Right now my backups are scheduled to run weekly. I could also run daily, every two weeks or monthly. My backups are set to be kept forever. There's also a month, two months, three months, six months, and a year. Now I'm going to go back to the overview tab. And next I'm going to click on the Backup Now button. It's asking me if I want to require a password to run the restoration, and I don't, so I'm going to click on Allow Restoring Without a Password, and then I'm going to click Continue. and the backup completed successfully. So now I'm going to close Deja Dupe. I'm going to go to my home folder and I'm going to hold control down on my keyboard and I'm going to click on all the folders except for the documents folder. And this lets you highlight everything. And now I'm going to drag all these folders into the documents folder. And then I'm going to drag the documents folder into the trash. And now the home folder is empty, and if I close it and reopen it, it's empty. Now I'm going to reopen Deja Dupe, and this time I'm going to click on the Restore button. It's asking me where I want to restore from. My backup's located on my flash drive, so I'm going to leave that selected and click Forward. It's asking me the date that I want to revert back to, and I'm going to leave this one selected and click Forward. Here I can select to restore files to their original location, or I could also select a specific folder to restore to. And I'm going to click Forward. Under the summary, it says my backup location is my flash drive. The restore date is today. The restore folder is into the original location, and I'm going to click Restore. And now I'm going to open my home folder and we should be seeing some folders appearing here. There they are. 
So the restore is complete. It says here restore finished. Your files were successfully restored. I'm going to close this. And that's how you back up and restore your important data and programs in Linux Ubuntu. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.